Hey guys, John Manning here with Electrofly. We're opening the curtain on Electrofly, telling you all about everything we do. One of the things we have to deal with is gas, because we do have gas on board with our micro turbine engines. Pause. When I say gas, I should probably say fuel. In this case, diesel, jet A, or kerosene. Micro turbine manuals generally recommend jet A and kerosene while some operators recommend diesel. What are the differences between these fuels? Jet A and diesel are mostly kerosene. Diesel also has added lubricants. With any of these fuels, the energy density is far greater than that of batteries, which is a very important concept for Electrofly. Now back to the rest of the message. It's very important to make sure that the gas is really clean on a micro turbine. If you can see here, we have a gas line coming in to the back of the burner can, and it goes around to the back, and there's a number of very fine lines, fine fuel lines going into the burner can. Don't know if you can see those or not, but it would be real hard to get small stuff to go through those lines, and so we wanna make sure that the fuel going into the engine has been filtered and is very clean. We use a, a, a fuel pump because we uh, use a small collector tank and so uh, you just stick that nozzle in there and you can get it going and uh, pump it into the aircraft. The uh, problem we've had is that we've tried attaching this to the tank in a lot of different ways and it keeps coming off. What we ended up doing is getting a couple Velcro straps here and now we're going to put this around the tank, put a 3D print a backer board here for this fuel pump and so that it won't move and we can use this as kind of a portable fuel station. Let's get to it. Taking a few me measurements of the pump. All right, so now we're out here in the garage and one of the things we need to do is we need to filter the fuel even before we put it into the tank. And uh, this tank actually does have a few uh, uh, little things floating around in the bottom of the tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this funnel called Mr. Funnel and it has a funnel inside of it. And what this does is it separates all the gunk but it also separates water, so only fuel can get inside. Uh, kind of a neat, neat, little, uh, neat little way to keep all the fuel clean. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. This is a container that is not for the um, diesel gas, but it's dry and clean, so we're going to use it and then we'll transfer it back once it's been filtered. Take all the fuel lines out. Put this one on. Let's give it a shot. Hey Diesel Brothers, by the way, this is Diesel. Shouldn't we be doing this together? First I thought it looked pretty clean in there, but when I got real close, I could see a couple little hairs and a couple little flakes in there. And of course, any dirtiness in the fuel could lead to a clogged line and an engine failure. The filter is held up 
about three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the funnel, so getting the last bit of fuel out is a bit of a challenge. Looks like that's about as good as we can do. So after filtering the fuel, we had this teeny bit of fuel left in the funnel that we couldn't get rid of. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to show you some of the uh, differences between gasoline and diesel. It's a little more resistant to uh, starting on fire. So we've got a little puddle going here. Make that a little bit bigger. And of course, we've got our fire extinguisher standing by. So let's just see exactly how long do we have to hold the flame on it before it will ignite. Still not igniting. Okay, so we're doing this simple little demonstration to show the resistance that the diesel gas has to burning. So here we are, we've tried tried lighting it. That's not working. So let's try something else. Little bit of flame starting to show up there. There we go. So it's finally starting to burn. So what we did is we designed and 3D printed this little piece here and that should fit perfectly onto the back side of our pump here and uh, oh wow look at that and then we'll uh, thread the uh, velcro strap through and bring it all the way around the container.